I'm going to say, I did not enjoy this movie. Finally saw everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, yeah, um, by the duo directors, uh, the Daniels, as they're as they're known. Um, yeah, so uh, just for a summary, you know, for people who don't know, it's about an aging Chinese woman who uh, is named Evelyn, I believe. Yeah. And uh, she's a Chinese immigrant who basically owns a laundromat in Simi Valley. And uh, she has the opportunity through people, through her husband and through her daughter to sort of save the world by exploring other universes. Um, and through that, she learns different lives that she's lived in other universes. And she also realized that her daughter in another universe is really the villain of the story. And she wants to sort of convince Evelyn that she can, um, I mean, I'm having trouble just describing it. Um, yeah, sort of like a multiverse sort of situation and all that happens and you have a story. Um, yeah, so, uh, look, I loved Swiss Army Man. I think that's a great film. I think it has just enough weirdness, quirkiness to really make it pop on the screen. Um, and it's really, um, it is really like a very sedated version of this. I mean, um Look, it is, my thoughts, it is a daring attempt. I mean, it is. They are swinging not only for the fences, but for the, they're swinging for the world, really. I mean, they are really going all out. They are throwing every joke, every movie reference, every raunchy gag. Like, it is, it is all thrown to a wall. Um, but in my opinion, it does not stick. Um my experience with this film, I was, I, I went in, I saw it. The first 35 minutes really had me going. And then my brain told me to fall asleep because not only was every character explaining the plot or how they were going to get out of, they, they, every character at this, at, you know, past the 35 minute mark was going to tell Evelyn how to do this, how to do that, what's going on. And you know, it, it, it's 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 an interesting concept, you know, for a movie. But I don't think an audience, you know, for me personally, I, I just don't like that way of storytelling. I think it's a little bit just unhinged and not able to sort of bring some sense of trust and comfort with the audience. Um, just exhausted by the end. Um, and I never felt that way from from a film in a while. Like it was, I was really like just drawn out. I had a, I, like it, it just wasn't, I just wasn't enjoying myself at the end of the day. Um, you know, this is, I understand the deserved praise this is getting in a way. Like I don't really have a problem with it being um, really praised in a way that's like, you know, groundbreaking or a masterpiece. Fine. Everyone has their opinion, um, and and that's that that you know, and and that's you could say that about any movie, you know. Like it's it's I understand that, but it's amazing how many people love this movie, and and that's just from my opinion alone. My from my my brain, what's tell what's telling my brain to feel, and what you know, what's my what's my brain trying to say? I don't know. Um, yeah, I just it is amazing. I was just you know, I was exhausted at the end. I was like immunized by like the whole flair of it all. There was a certain point about three fourths of the way through where like I felt like just like that sense of like diminishing returns. Like you can only put so much at the screen, and the audience is only going to react to it in a, in a in a good way for so long. Um, and I really felt that diminishing return aspect, you know, a good thirty minutes before the ending. 
don't discount the amazing achievement that these people have made. It's definitely an achievement. It's an editing achievement for sure. Um, and just a, an achievement in filmmaking. I, I can't imagine the amount of pages this script is. Um, and that's the other thing. Like, it is long. Like, uh, it is. I think they, I mean, it's long to the point where I, I really didn't have to be exhausted. You know, I, I really could have just been like, you know what? Not for me. But I really was having a hard time not just being done with it um, by like the last 25, 30 minutes or so. Um, so first half is great. And I think the mother-daughter relationship in this film actually is pretty, I thought it was pretty captivating. But they sort of like, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's a piece of art. So like it's hard to critique something that's so um that's obviously so it's obviously create uh, curated in such a loving and passionate manner like you can tell that the daniels love they just put their heart and soul in this which is great i love that but sometimes you know that's the, that's that's the difference in movies where like sometimes it just doesn't an audience or a mass audience just does not enjoy your piece of art um and look in this case i'm in the minority so Take it from take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Those are my thoughts about everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, I gave it a two out of five stars. You can check my letterbox right here. Um, you can follow me. Check out my reviews there. Also follow me on Medium. Um, I'm a writer on there, and you can check out my reviews, my full, my more full length reviews if you're interested in that, down in the description below. Um, yeah. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It could not have been a more accurate title. So um, I encourage you guys to still check it out. Um, it's in theaters as well. I'm sure it'll be on. Um, I'm sure it'll be on a streaming service um, one of these days. So check it out. And um, all right, see you guys next time.